if your partner has too many pillows piled on your bed, I can help you. But you have to do exactly what I say. I'm Doug Walker, and this is Roominess. Roominess brings you straightforward steps to an inviting home. Hit the subscribe button to see more. Decorative pillows help your bed look inviting and comfortable rather than sterile like a hospital bed. So how many pillows are enough in the first place? Based on a casual survey of all the beds I've ever seen, except for beds in bedding stores which want to sell you pillows, generally you want to have about three layers deep of pillows. Most often that's a big Euro pillow at the back, a sleeping or medium-sized decorative pillow in the middle, and an accent pillow at the front. Using decently plump pillows for all three, this brings the pillows out about one quarter to one third of the overall bed length. So that's three pillows on a twin bed, five to six pillows on a double or queen size bed, and six to nine pillows on a king size bed. So if you've only got that many pillows on your bed, I have to tell you, get over it. You're doing pretty well. Three layers? We'll see what Martha Stewart has to say about that. If you have more than that, then your partner may have emotional connections to specific pillows, or they may like to mix a lot of different patterns together. But you need to recognize that what they're trying to do is to create an inviting and soothing bed that's a focal point in your bedroom. However, part of the problem may be you. If you've railed against pillows, then your partner may try to appease you by buying smaller pillows. This is totally counterproductive to your goal. Small flimsy pillows don't accomplish anything in terms of the intentions your partner has for the bed. So we'll start there. Encourage your partner to use big pillows. It takes fewer large pillows to make your bed look inviting. You want sturdy pillows that can stand up on their own. You want height as well as depth. Encourage your partner to use more texture and pattern. It takes fewer pillows with more texture and pattern to draw attention and create a focal point with your bed. Holy sheets, Martha! How many pillows are on that bed? Think beyond the pillows. Creating a focal point at your bed can include art over the bed, an upholstered headboard, a throw at the foot of the bed, and if you have a canopy bed, bed curtains. All of these things can add to the pattern, color, and texture of the bed and decrease the need for added pillows. Your partner may have sentimental attachments to pillows and resist getting rid of them. So you need to think about how do you keep the sentiment without cluttering up your bed. Do you have a guest bedroom where these pillows could retire? Other possibilities would be she sheds or snuggeries or other plush places. A day bed is a really useful piece of furniture in any of those locations because they need a lot of pillows. Sentimental pillow fabrics, shams, or cases can be repurposed. Maybe as framed art or part of a quilt, as a decoration on memento boxes, or even sewn onto a larger pillow. Aren't you going to mention how much time we spend in bed? It says you have to do that in these videos. Most importantly, don't sit on the sidelines and just complain about what your partner does. If you want to say in what happens in the home, you need to engage. Now, true, your ideas will probably be rejected at first. Don't give up. Keep looking at inspiration spaces and ideas together. So how do you coordinate the colors on all of these pillow fabrics? Have a look at my video on how to coordinate colors over here. You should watch. It's short. I'll see you there.